I'm going to add a combo box to this program. Okay, combo box is uh, quite a lot similar to a radio group where you can add multiple items and then you can select one of the items that you want to use. Uh, one advantage that I think the combo box have over the radio group is because it will use less space on the form. Okay, so with combo box, the user is going to click on the drop down arrow. It's going to show all the options inside the combo box where with a radio group all the options will already be on the screen and the user can just select one of the options. Okay, so if all the options are already on the screen, it will take a, up a bit more space on your form. Okay, so the text that you see over here is in saved in the text property. So I'm going to change mine to Teams. And I'm going to add a few Teams to my combo box. Okay, so I'm going to add Everton, somebody like Leeds, something, somebody like Watford, Watford, and Dolby. Okay, so I have four added to my items. And now when I run my program, and I click on the drop down box, I will be able to select one of these teams over here. Let's just add a button and the label. Okay, so the combo box will be the input, the button will be the processing, and my label will be the output. Make it something like display. When I click on this display button, I want to display something in my label the caption. Why do I want to display my label the caption? The stuff that was selected in the combo box. Okay, let's use combo box of text. Let's see what happens. I click on it now. It's going to show teams because the current text is teams. But if I select something, I click then on display, the current text of the combo box will be changed to the team that you selected. And then you can use or display that in your label. Okay, combo box. You can also use the item index of the combo box, the same as the radio group. Or you can use the shorter method where you just select the current text that's being, being selected in the combo box and then you can display that in your label the caption. If you want to reset it back, let's add a bitmap button quickly here. Bitmap button. Let's make, let's make it retry. When the user click on retry, you can set the combo box item index back to minus one. Minus one means that nothing is selected in your combo box. Let's see whether it works. Okay, down the user selected leads, click on retry and it will set it back to nothing that was selected. Okay so you can use the item index if you want to or you can just use the combo box for text.